under half an hour. Right. Contact Solus. All set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! Say Germans aren't funny.
my friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are all right. Hmm? It's time you got out of Denver. Ah, it looks like they've deployed upgraded cyborgs. And equipped with blades, no less. I'm sure they've been trained well with them. Be careful, Raiden. Burying a single strike means nothing if they land a combo attack on you after. Raiden, are you... I'm fine. I'm a cyborg, remember? It'll take a bigger fall than that to phase me. Have you reached her yet? No. Most likely she is busy, duh? Nose deep in some book, not paying attention? Yep. Sounds about right. We will find her. I'm sure she will be on the campus somewhere. I already sent advance word to her office, saying we have a big action hero with urgent business. <laughs> That'll get her attention. Think we can pull this off without her? If we have to? No, not on short notice. She's the only one with authority who I can imagine would agree to this. All right. Fingers crossed, I guess. I didn't realize she was that high up, though. She was lead developer on this craft, all the way from concept stage. She could not make it alone, of course, but she is the one who put all the parts together, so to speak. Sounds like she's picked up some leadership skills. Glad to hear it. Project surely has separate management staff watching over it, yes, but they are not leaders. She negotiates, settles arguments between specialists working for her. Very important. Also, she has vision. She can share that vision with other people, make them see it too. That is what makes Project successful. I bet. You can't get serious about something unless the whole team believes. Duh. Certainly she has natural leadership ability. A gifted child in so many ways. Though the Patriots may have... Uh, Something to do with that. I'd say so. What do you think? Should we see if she wants to come on board? What? No, no! Raiden, one leader is enough for this company. Get back the way you came, for now. Get back the way you... You all right, buddy? That was one hell of a drop. Yeah, I'm good. This body's even tougher than I realized. That was some in-flight entertainment. Yeah, no shit. Sliders or hammerheads are one thing, but the MQ-320 is a full-fledged warplane. Only the USAF's supposed to have them. Someone should tell World Marshal that. UAV tech's grown a lot, but not that much. Fully equipped battle planes would cost a fortune. Everything in them is cutting-edge tech. The military might let a PMC operate one, but I can't think of many who could bankroll one for themselves. Yeah, can't see the U.S. being keen on sharing its toys, especially with World Marshal. The military might have loaned it out, but only for overseas ops in major hotspots. They wouldn't outsource the defense of American airspace. That's their job. Imagine the headlines. Any warplane within U.S. airspace, manned or not, it's military or nothing. That's part of the reason private UAV tech hasn't advanced as much as it could have. If I had to guess, they were probably trainers from Peterson Air Force Base. And if World Marshals got access to equipment like that? Yeah. Either the Army gave them permission, or they somehow scrambled without using military channels. Either way, they're in deeper with the military than we thought. <sighs> I know I just leveled World Marshal HQ, but I don't understand why the military would get involved. I'm not an enemy combatant or anything. I can see why the police would want me, but the Air Force? Well, you did kind of kill a bunch of police officers. Now, I know they were more World Marshal security guards than anything else, but they still had badges. And when the police can't catch you, that's when they call in the guard. This is blowing up pretty quickly. Pretty much full-on warfare, yeah. Asymmetric warfare, that is. Well, we better wrap this up quick, then. Any more warplanes, and I could be in trouble. I doubt Peterson's got any more MQs ready to go. You'd have seen them by now. My hunch is, someone at World Marshal probably panicked and had it dispatched after Sundowner died. There won't be another sortie. Once you're out of Denver, things won't seem so urgent for them anymore. The military can't just go around willy-nilly shooting down civilian helicopters. Maybe. But if we're dealing with guys who can commandeer U.S. military planes without Army approval... Well, then we'd really be screwed. But I doubt it's that easy for them. Damn! 
two fighter planes downed? Pretty impressive, Raiden. Even for you. It's not me, really. It's this body. Well, sure, it helps. But it would be nothing without your tactics and reactions. Maybe. I wouldn't even dare take them on if I wasn't in this frame, though. <laughs> you never could take a compliment. But I admit, the tech is pretty hot. Makes you wonder what'll happen once cyborgs become more common. It'd mess with sports, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get to that point. A lot of groups have already explicitly banned cyborg athletes. Even the ones that haven't, well... You know, they're not gonna let them on the field. Well, sure. But what happens once folks get used to seeing cyborgs perform all these superhuman feats? For a lot of folks, the regular stuff just wouldn't cut it after that. In fact, I bet they'd welcome you guys in stuff like extreme sports. You know where the show's half the contest? And you see that video with the cyborg skater? It's got like a hundred million hits. Novelty, Kev. Nothing more. What excites people is seeing regular folks doing superhuman things. If there's no training, no sacrifice beyond I paid for the operation, that'll get real old real quick. Well, it's more than just the operation, though. You need brains to drive that body, right? A lot of people just like to see the limits of how far the human body can be pushed. I bet plenty would want to see just how far cyborgs can go, too. Like, a cyborg pro wrestling league could be pretty interesting, or 